Good morning, everybody. It's Stuart from GH Immigration Services in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I want to have a little talk about something as quickly as I possibly can. I would like to talk about people that come to Canada that are here under LMIAs or Labour Market Impact Assessments. Um, if anybody, most people that know that are trying to come to Canada that don't have a, a way they'd like to try to get here with a job offer, whatever. And labor market impact assessments is one of the way for many people that cannot do not qualify for a lot of programs to be able to get here and then eventually get the permanent residency. So anyways, that's, that's it. However, one of the things, and this I come across this quite often, and this happens to everybody who are international students, workers, or or what candidates that are coming here that are considered foreign nationals that are not um, they don't have the PR status or not citizens or whatever many of these and many people that come here and they go into these especially LMIAs LMIA applicants are on what's called are on closed work permits it means they can't change employers uh, they have to stay with the same employer during the duration of their time here and things like that well you need to know that this is not always the case, especially if you're with an employer that's abusing their position. There's a lot of people that come to Canada and they all end up working under LMIAs and the employers figure because they got them locked in for two or three years, they take advantage of them. They make them work extra hours. They don't pay them properly. They uh, de 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 uh, deny them holidays. There's all kinds of things that they do, all kinds of very illegal things. And they force them to pay for their LMIAs or they force them to pay a large fee to be able to do an LMIA or whatever the case is. Uh, and I come across this on a regular basis. Well, you have to know that there are resources out there that you can end up changing your status if you're with an abusive um, employer. And remember what I'm saying, abusive employer, I'm not talking about necessarily someone's hitting you. I'm talking about ones that are treating you really really poorly and but you got to remember whenever when it comes to this you need proof so if you have one that's abusive to you or it's like having a, your phone on when someone's abusing you is a great way of listening to things especially if you've n done nothing wrong um that um if you like when it comes to your pays well you have pay stubs uh if they're not paying you the rate of pay they're supposed to paying you things like that all those things are uh, considered out of compliance when it comes to your LMIA and there are people like myself that can help you with this we can help you get out of those arrangements and get into um, open work permits where you can work to any employer um, and that comes from working with employers that take advantage of you and there's twofold on this is if you report an employer that has been abusing you or taking advantage of you You've got to realize there's two things that's really advantageous about reporting them. A, you get to change to an open work permit. We can apply and get you a new open work permit under an abusive, uh, relate, the abusive relationship and that. But it also, uh, the ESDC or IRCC go after these employers for non-compliance and for doing that. They get things like they'll get fines. They get uh, they're not allowed to apply for x amount of years for. Um, uh, for uh, taking advantage of individuals, they get banned. They could be banned permanently for life from hiring people under LMIAs or foreign nationals at all. There's so there's lots of things. There's twofold. It works both. It's not just it's protecting you. It's protecting everybody else down in the future as well. So you can't be afraid to speak up. You can't be afraid to have to go after somebody who has taken advantage of you as an individual. You don't deserve that. You do not deserve to come to Canada and trusting Canadians and us with your life and you be taken advantage of by an employer. So anyways, I just want to let you know that there is hope. There are ways of being able to do it. If you are or a close friend is in one of those kinds of relationships, contact me. I can help them out. I can talk to them, find out, get the details, and see what else I can figure out and see if there's a way I can arrange to get them out of the, their current situation. Anyways, 
This is Gerard from GH Immigration Services in Winnipeg. I hope this helps you out and I hope you find this useful. Uh, if you are, just uh, either like it or send me a, uh, an email at ghimmigrationservices.ca and I will talk to you and see what we can do for you. Anyways, thank you very much. Have yourself a awesome day or evening, whatever it happens to be. And thank you for watching my video. Bye for now.